As always on this show, we're going to go from the worst to the best. This is the best of the bunch. This week's best of the bunch is Logan Lucky, the latest feature from Steven Soderbergh. He, you, would pro you might know him as the director of the various Oceans movies, your Oceans 11, your Oceans 12, and your Oceans, wait for it, 13. Well, he's back with a new heist film that he sort of dubbed Ocean 7-Eleven, and that this is about a group of guys who are not as polished and refined as the Ocean's Eleven crew. This is a, this is a sort of more rural heist movie, as our heroes who are, uh, who are miners and, bar and uh, bartenders decide they're going to knock over a NASCAR event. It's, this is such a fun movie. And a big key to the fun of it is how, you know, how seriously it takes its characters. The idea of that an Ocean 7-Eleven could be could very quickly become derogatory and somewhat offensive, right? Like this could very easily become a sort of hee-haw sort of an affair where it feels like we're making fun of the characters. But this movie in no way does that. Instead, it finds the humanity in each of them and really does a great job of creating sympathy. Uh, for every character, despite the fact that they're involved in a criminal enterprise. It's a very fun movie. The cast is terrific. Your main guy is Channing Tatum. He's great. His brother is Adam Driver, who's been making a big name for himself in the Star Wars movies. Well, here he's proving that, no, he's, he's a really good actor, too. And uh, they're assisted in their heist by Daniel Craig, who plays hugely against his James Bond type as a super nutty good old boy who's ready to blow some stuff up. He is as great as everyone is. Daniel Craig is the shining diamond in the middle of this thing and is not to be missed. The movie is super smartly written and plotted and directed. Uh, it never really descends into huge stretches of exposition where they explain out what the heist is going to be, but you get to have the fun and joy of, of figuring out the heist as it goes along, and then you know noticing little details that you know sort of come back later in a in a very successful way. Sort of the sole you know bad spot of this movie is that I don't know how he keeps ending up in our movies and TV shows, folks. But Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy, who is generally just a, a cocky and smarmy, uh, an unpleasant presence, is doing all of that here. Now, granted, he's playing a cocky, smarmy, and unpleasant character, so perhaps that works for him, but you know, no one ever wants to be reminded of the existence of a Seth MacFarlane. Look at the Oscars. But he's here playing a character who is, uh, who is sponsoring one of the race car drivers. He's a rich guy, and he earlier on gets into a fight with our heroes in a way that threatens to come back later in the movie, but ultimately feels, and does, but ultimately feels inconsequential to the plot. Again, this is a really terrific and fun movie that I would recommend you run out and see. It's a movie that's very respectful of its characters when a similar movie by other directors wouldn't be. And again, it's really smart and tight. It's the best heist movie I've seen in a long time. I'm giving it four stars. <laughs>